while you're before guys got inside, I wanted to make a, a follow-up video and I'm gonna dance a little bit on like trainer speak and I don't want you guys thinking that at all. I always encourage you to go get professional help. But there's been a lot of comments in, in the recent videos as well as ones going all the way back to the earliest of the weekly drill down, for instance, where people can't seem to grasp the concept of not so much the armor, not so much the both eyes open shooting, but a combination of the both. And they have people that basically they just get it, and then you have people that they struggle with it. Those are the same people that generally you're going to hear it's cheating, but they don't want to take the time to actually try and learn it because it's too hard. Two sides of the mouth, same story. So basically, some of the questions we've gotten in DM, thanks for sliding in, in you know messages on Facebook, messages and comments on YouTube, I decided to kind of give you guys like what helped me, thanks to a trainer from a long, long time ago, get into basically processing with both eyes. Not both eyes open shooting, which if you've taken a course in the past decade, you should have learned, but being able to actively utilize both eyes and not have to variate, variant, variation, not change the things that you normally do, like obtaining your front sight pose, can full sight picture, et cetera, et cetera. Just so we're all on the same page, here's the explanation of sight picture and sight radius. Sight radius is the distance between your rear sight and your front sight, while the sight picture is the target, front sight, and rear sight all combined together. Focal planes are the things that your eyes have to focus on, so target, front sight, rear sight equals three. If we add an RMR, we actually limit it down to one because you only need to focus on the target. Let's explain. All you need for this is tape and a red dot, of course. So before we get too crazy, I want to stop the video right here. Now you can see with this little line right in the middle that your sight picture doesn't really change all that much from pistol to rifle. So if you're using a red dot on a rifle, you really should have no problem using a red dot on a pistol with a lot of the same depth perception and principles that you use any other day of the week. So come with me on a quick trip uh, as we learn things about depth perception that you can follow with at home. It'll be fun. You can even play. You have fingers. You have fingers. I have fingers. Let's do this. So I want you to both eyes open, put your fingers together. Right? Not hard at all. We can all do that. Both eyes open. Now do it with one eye open. Strong eyes usually going to be the one that stays open, but you kind of miss a little bit. Now people with one eye and a power like a pirate, they tend to come at things a little bit differently because they, they need that simulated depth perception. If we do it with our weak eye, you should get a very similar situation. You can, you know, get it on the double tap. Funny story, if you do it with both eyes closed, your body knows exactly where it is. That's for another time now. Basically, what am I trying to prove? I'm Science! I'm trying to prove is that we all have depth perception. Both eyes open are going to basically help us get it on the first try. <laughs> Which is hilarious because right now Jack's trying in the background. <laughs> Success! First try! Yes! Jack also showed me something, and you've probably seen this or had it done to you in the past as well, where you're trying to figure out eye dominance, things like that. And he just showed me this wonderful little, you know, flying deer from Bollywood dance. No. Where you use like two circles and you bring them together and then the one that it zeroes in on, that's your dominant eye. I've also been taught, you know, the diamond, R-O-C. My name is Ho. Either way, cross eye dominance. Two eyes are gonna work better than one. And hopefully by looking at what we did here, you can take this really quick, practice at the range, and you can see that if you help your weaker eye kind of join the party, things like red dots on pistols, and red dots in general are gonna become a lot easier. Essentially, it's very simple. All you have to do is bring some gaffer's tape, duct tape, scotch tape, whatever kind of tape you fancy. If it's polka dot pink tape, then go for it. Rubber duckies, that's your jam, rock on. All you have to do is literally cover up the lens. Just cover the lens, leave the dot on, whether it's an RMR, whether it's an aim point, whether it's whatever red dot you're using that week. Cover it up. And what's gonna end up happening is, is your brain is going to, just like you can look, you can see through your own finger. Take your finger through your dominant eye. You can see through it, right? Shift both eyes open, close one. No, no, I can't see. That's how it works. Same, same, but different. All we're doing is we're gonna cover up that dot and our other eye is gonna be forced to kind of fill in the missing, missing picture. Then you will see where the dot actually sits. What does that do for you? Well, it gives you one, more depth so you can gauge more things. For all you tactical people out there, it gives you more awareness in all of your super cool tacticalness so you can do your you know, checks and shenanigans. And three, it's gonna give you a lot faster recovery time on your follow-up shot. It's gonna also help you track the site better. And it's gonna give you a lot more just peripheral in general, which is never a bad thing. So try that, 
Tell me what you think. As you can see by the groups that we put out there, both with and without the actual coverage on there, same, same. So it's not a matter of, you know, looking through the glass and not a matter of the size of the glass. It's not a matter of looking at the dot instead of the target. It's generally getting all the information and allowing your brain to process it. It's going to get a lot easier if you do it more and if you practice getting both those eyes into the game as opposed to just one looking through and lining up a dot. Sorry, we don't look at the dot when we shoot, we look at the target. Yes, science! If there's anything else that like, and we don't do this enough, we haven't done it in a long time, I want to emphasize, it's you. You're at home, by yourself, possibly in your underwear. Uh, uh, uh. And what's happening is, is you're trying to figure out how to do this thing. It's two in the morning and you don't know what's going on and no one's going to teach you online because you probably get instruction. However, comma, here's where we can help you. Put a comment right down below. What are the things that you just can't wrap your head around? Maybe we can explain it. Maybe we can't. Maybe you should wear sunscreen. Who knows? Tomorrow's another day. But we are looking at the comments. We are responding as best we can. Make sure you give this to a friend who also does this on the range. Crush unit, crush you, Fudston. You stay safe. We're going to go and control the comments. Stay safe. Check your chambers. We'll see you on the range. That's how it ends. That made sense, right? <laughs>